office where it's one superintendent and one assistant, so you know, however, um, directing the work of the self director. So this way I answer to many people, um, to the six superintendents on the board, but also to all of the others that are um, in our chief. So. so I'll pass around the local plan again if you care to leaf through it, fine. If you, if you don't, it's a large document. Um, Within it, it, it has on page 25 uh, probably the most important thing to you, and that's our, our um, organizational chart so that you can see kind of what the SELPA is about in regard to um, how we operate with the governing board being the main governing body and the SELPA director being the head of the SELPA staff, and then how we interact with our districts. So I, I told you we have the six superintendents, one is the county office always, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about the regions. We have um, Dr. Ovik is from the county office and always on the board. Um, Dr. Don Gill is the Antioch superintendent, and because it's our largest district, he's always on the board, or the superintendent for Antioch is always on the board. The Pittsburgh superintendent, Linda Rondo, is always on the board, or whoever superintendent there at the time, because that is our second largest district. And then we have regions. Dr. Grant represents the Far East region, that's Holy, Knightson, Byron, Brentwood, and Liberty High School District, so it's all of you um, from this area. So there's a rotating position, it can be annual rotation, it can be biannual, it's, it's whatever the superintendents really decide. Um, the Oakley superintendent was on for about four years, I believe, and now Dr. Grant is on. And so that is a rotation based on what superintendents are willing to serve, and so we thank Dr. Grant for being um, on our board this year. We also have a region that includes um, John Sweat and Martina School Districts, and those superintendents rotate wow. annually. So one year it's the John Sweat superintendent, the next year it will be the Martinez. The expectation for those regions is that they communicate, you know, Dr. Grant communicates with the other superintendents here to apprise them of what's happening at the Sulva level. Then we have one more region, which is um, we call the Akalani's Attendance Area. It's Akalani's High School District. It's Moraga, Lafayette, Canyon, if you know where Canyon is. Um, we all kind of the hills towards Oakland, um, and then Orinda. And there's one superintendent, Dr. Uh, Jack and that is currently the superintendent on the board. <coughs> so that is my uh, governing board, and of course, as I said, those are my six bosses representing all 16. I answer to all 16 superintendents, but um, generally through the governance council. Then I work with the directors of special education, the chief business officials, you know, um, at the districts. I have a staff of uh, eight. We have, I'm sorry. Um, I have a staff of eight. I have a business manager. Um, she really runs all the finances. She's fantastic, uh, very knowledgeable about special education, uh, finance, and I have an administrative assistant who really is just a stellar, uh, she kind of runs the office. She's, she's my administrative assistant. She helps all of the staff. She runs the technology. She updates the local plans on the website and that sort of thing. Then I have two coordinators, Lorraine Domenico and Carrie Wheel. You may know them either from trainings in SACE or from assistance that you've gotten for any kind of disputes or um, facilitated IEPs. They are coordinators that are in the office. And we have four staff members that are out in the field. The person who serves the Far East region is James Byland, Dr. James Byland. Um, he is a young guy and he is brilliant. He just received his doctorate last um, spring when I hired him. He is um, serving the Far East region that I told you about, and then we have Jennifer Woodman, who used to be out here, and she is now in the Akwani's attendance area. We've got one person, Wendy Gilly, for Antioch. They have a full-time person because they're our largest district. And then we have someone covering well, um, John Scott Martinez in Pittsburgh, and that is Rhonda Richmond. I could tell you that um, right now, hands down, I've got the greatest staff that I've ever imagined having. It's just a dream staff, so they are here to serve you, um, and I hope that you'll call. So within the, the governance um, structure, you see that we have committees, uh, if you will. So we have main committees that would be the fiscal advisory committee that was made up of representatives from all of the um, 16 LEAs. Uh, business Chief business officials and directors of special ed are on that, and we talk about finance and where our $53 million that we are allocated um, at the self level, either through property taxes or state and federal funds. Um, we decide how that's going to be um, basically divided and allocated out to districts. We don't, at the SELPA, we don't 
we don't use any of the operating funds to run ourselves. As I was telling you, six thousand dollars in postage, we really can't afford that annually to send out a letter um, because we have our own operating budget, which is separate from the money that we allocate out to the district. So it's about fifty-three million dollars that we take in in state, local, federal funds, and we, we uh, send that out to districts in different proportions. Um, if you're ever um, interested, sir, I heard you talking about finance for special education and. Um, we know nationwide that finances uh, never fully fund special education. Um, we look at easily 40% of the costs for special education go unfunded. And so <coughs> districts, you often may hear about, you know, talking about the general fund and how the general fund is used for special education. Um, the idea behind that is that the general fund is for all students, and that includes students with special needs. And you can then um, Imagine, you know, whatever the per pupil amount that a district will receive, it is for all students, and then the additional cost of special education would be funded through the money that we are we are dispersing no. to districts with local, state, and federal funds, and then whatever's not paid for comes out of the general fund um, in addition uh, from the district. So, if you're ever interested in knowing about our allocation plan, we have done a lot of work around that. And I'm happy to talk about that. And we've try to make it certainly as equitable as possible, and the Fiscal Advisory Council helps with that. Mm -hmm. The Administrative Council is um, made up of all of the program directors. So, Margo Olson, Katie Gaines, who's here from the county, these are the program directors that are in the field. Um, they all are part of that council. They help